Yo guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks, back with another sneaker video, and if you watched my last pickup video, I picked these racers up. Uh, my good buddy hooked me up with these. 50 bucks, not bad at all. They're pretty much dead stock. Like I said, I wanted to wear them one time before I did this custom for them. So I did wear them out today. I'm going to be cleaning these up real quick, and then I'm going to get started on the custom. Now, if you remember, like a week ago, those all black Flyknit racers dropped in. You know, I didn't think racers were still in. I thought people kind of overlooked them by now, and I was really looking forward to getting them and I worked that day. Sadly, they sold out and they didn't release anywhere except for like Nike locations. And then of course like Kith and Undefeated and places like that got them, but nowhere here locally in San Antonio. And I was just pretty much out of luck. And when it comes to racers, like they're not that big anymore. So I'm not gonna be paying 200 uh, to $300 for a pair of racers that's just all black. That just doesn't make too much sense. So I picked these up for 50 bucks. I'm gonna be showing you how to black these out. I'm gonna add a few personal touches in there that I wanna do for the midsole and stuff and then uh, we'll just see how it goes. Now I'm gonna be telling you all the materials you're gonna be needing throughout the video, so just keep it posted, and down below I have links to all the stuff. You can use dye or paint. Um, I just prefer to use paint because with dye, I've seen it where it gets like too saturated in some spots and it's like kind of like a shinyish, like black. I think paint's a better balance to it. Of course, you're gonna have to mix your textile fabric softener in there, which I will show you which one I'll be using and of course link it. But that is enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and hop right into this video. All right, so first things first with this, you're gonna to wanna to take out the laces because they're just gonna get in the way. So let's go ahead and get these little babies out of there. After you pull out the laces, just go ahead and stuff them with something. Uh, me personally, I just use the regular tissue paper that came in there because I will be using a shrewd tree later. Uh, and then after this, we're gonna actually get started into it. So what you're gonna need after that step is you're gonna actually need some acetone just any acetone will do. And then uh, either cotton rounds or cotton balls, whatever you got laying around. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the finisher. Even though it's flying it, Nike still does put a finisher on top of it so the color doesn't fade as easily. So what we're gonna do is just rub the cotton ball with acetone all along the midsole, uh, the whole flying it area, and just try to strip off everything we can. a couple of the little coatings of the acetone just because I don't want to make this video too tedious but you get the main point of it we're gonna be going with acetone all over both shoes trying to strip as much paint as we can down so we can get a good base layer to go over all right so after you strip most of the paint off of it uh, you're gonna to want to get as much as you can as for me it was kind of hard to get the inside right there but I got as much as I possibly could and that's what you really are going for you don't want any other like paint sticking on there or anything with a finisher on there because it's going to make the paint not last. Now I know a lot of y'all are thinking like this is going to stiffen up as soon as I put paint on it. But if you use this right here which is GAC 900 it is a uh, it's like a medium for the paint. So it'll help it adhere to the fabric and make it stick. All you got to do is mix it half and half with your paint and then use like a heat source to adhere it on there. Uh, pretty simple stuff. The second thing you're going to need is black. I go with flat black just because I like the matte look on it. Uh, you can also buy duller and add it in there to give it an even extra matte look or if you have regular black just put the duller and make it flat black. Uh, with this I'm just going to keep it the same because this is just going on the fly knit. Once I start doing the midsole and stuff like that I will add some duller. But for now like I said we're going to be doing a half half mixture. So you want to just kind of fill it up and eyeball it right there. That should be good enough for right now. And then after that you're going to use the GAC 900. Just kind of mix it in there, uh, make sure that it goes well and it's about half and half because you're not going to want it to be too thick or anything like that. So you just pour it in there, maybe add a little bit more black just to balance it out. Now all you got to do is mix it up, uh, make sure everything is going to be mixed well. So even though you shake it up like this, you're going to also want to stir it up with your brush just to make sure because you do not want this to get all hard and crusty because then it just won't be comfortable on foot and that's the whole point of flying it. You want something light. And comfortable you don't want it to be hard and stiff that's not what you want all right so once you get the mixture all the way done what you're gonna want to do is just go all over the fly knit you're probably gonna have to do a couple coatings uh, but the reason I'm doing the fly knit first and not any of this is because if I get this black right here I can always go over it and use acetone to take it off this is going to be black right here this is gonna be a whole different color uh, so what I'm gonna be doing right now is just going over the whole fly knit process and kind of showing you what it's gonna look like like I did with the last one I'm just gonna go over one coat with it to show you guys I'm gonna be doing multiple coats and I'll let you know how, how many I have done but I just don't want to make this video too tedious I just want you guys to get the point and how to do it
All right, so this is what we're working with now. That was three coats after. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do now after you start coating it with the GAC 900 and the paint mix, uh, you're gonna need some heat to actually seal it in. So if you have a heat gun, or if you have any type of like hair dryer or something like that, that is always gonna be good to use because it's gonna help it set in. Uh, you don't want it to fade out and then you see the colors under it. So right here I got a Conair right here, just it's just a regular one. You can get this at Target for cheap or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna heat it up and then we're gonna let it set in. So let's get right into it. All right, so now that we have it setting in, I'm gonna go ahead and start hitting up the next shoe right here. After that, we're gonna work on this midsole right here. As you can see, it's all choppy and messed up right there. What I said before, like uh, I'm doing this first because I want to do the knit, and then after I'm gonna be going at the midsole and doing two different colors. So this does not matter at all. If that gets messed up or paints all over it, that is absolutely 100% fine. I can just use acetone, like I said, and take it off. I'm not putting any finisher on it right now. I'm just leaving it as is. So it's definitely okay to mess up right here. We're gonna hop in and start with this one, and after that I will get to the midsole section and show you what to do. Both of them are done with their first coating. Um, like I said, I'm gonna not show you all the coating because it takes a long, it's a long process honestly because it's so much knit and it takes it absorbs so much of the paint. So I'm gonna do this first coating today. I already heated both of them up so they're already setting. So after that, I'm gonna do another coating tomorrow. I'm gonna let it dry overnight, do another coating in the morning. Then I'm gonna strip all this paint down right there, redo the midsoles and then do a new color here on there. So, so far so good. As you can see right here, the black is really just prominent on there. You don't really see much of anything else on there now. It is all set. It's not stiff. It's not like real ugly or anything like that. It's nice and soft, the same thing as flying it. As you can see in the inside, it kind of goes through to the inside. I also went and did more of the inside as well so it doesn't show through. Uh, when you look at it this way, you can't really see much of it after that. So really, really hard to keep it all in. But if you do the inside and outside, you're gonna have zero problems with that and you're gonna get a total black fly knit. Okay, so it's been 24 hours, I let it sit. Now before I do another coating on the fly knit, I actually wanna get this all black. Uh, I stripped the rest of that black paint off that was on it already. It was just kind of just sitting there and it was real easy to scrape off because it had the GAC 900 in it. So I'm gonna go ahead just over with the regular flat black, I'm gonna go straight from the bottle with it and just straight onto there and we'll see how that turns out right now. Finally done with the midsole right there. I just did the flat black all the way throughout. Nothing too special. Um, just really wanted to keep that too simple. Uh, I also wanted to make it as close as possible to that knit by night pair that Nike Lab released. But the reason I did this first before I did this midsole is because I'm going to be using a different color that's lighter. And if I ever get up on here, I could just go over it instead of going getting black on the lighter color and just having to scrape it off and whatnot. So it'll just be a little bit easier that way. But right now I'm going to do the second coating on the knit part right here and then after that I will do the finishing midsole and then we'll be done. Okay, so now that we have like two layers down of paint on there, we're gonna go ahead and start on the midsole. I already did the black as you already saw, I already did all that. And also I chose to do black first because it would be easier to cover up black if I was to get white or the cream color I'm gonna be using on the midsole right now then it would be vice versa getting black off of that so that's the reason I did that you can kinda go with it however you feel like it um, that's just really how I wanted to do it because it's a little bit easier now what I'm gonna be doing to get that cream color is I had got some Angelus vanilla we're gonna be using a little bit of this and then we're gonna be using a little jar of flat white as well we're gonna be doing a mixture and kinda get it just to a little bit of an off-white because if you use vanilla, it's a little bit too strong and it looks just like yellowing, like kind of similar to the Maroon 6s, which isn't really what I'm going for. I'm going for something a little bit lighter. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some flat white and just pour it in there. Um, not a whole lot just because we're just doing the midsole, so you don't need too much paint, so that's about good right there. And you don't want to overset it too much with the vanilla because the vanilla is a pretty strong color. As you can see, it's like a beige. Um, so
All right, so now the midsole is completely done. We just did that little cream color going down. Nothing too crazy with it. I didn't want to go too dark with the cream or too light with it. I think I did like the perfect one to me. Uh, you can always do your own mixture. You can always pick your own different color. You can just do it all black or just leave it white. However you want to do it, it's up to you. Now, as you can see, there's some cream that like has gotten onto the black. And like I said, I did this on purpose because I want to have the lighter color on the darker one because it'll cover it up easier. So what I'm going to do is just touch up the whole shoe and then I'll be right back to you and show you what we're going to be doing next. Okay, so now that the midsole's done, before I apply the finisher to it, I was actually painting it and I noticed that between right there you can kind of see the green insole. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the insole over and then after that I'm going to apply the finisher and we are pretty much done. And that is it. This is it, 100% completed. Uh, everything came out pretty well. I like the way that everything did turn out. I was kind of worried on some parts that like some of the color would still pop out or whatnot. And I was kind of worried that I wasn't gonna be able to do the midsole because it was so hard to get in those little creases and whatnot. Uh, but I think it ended up turning out okay. So let's get out of this angle. Let me talk to you for a second and then I'll throw these on foot. All right, so this is them right there. Uh, I think they came out Pretty much the way I wanted this is what they look like again uh, I mean it's just a plain black racer all blacked out and the one up top you could see the swoosh a little bit better uh, this one I just blacked out the whole thing I didn't want any swoosh to be visible I wanted minimal branding uh, which is kind of why I was disappointed with the new one and I wasn't gonna pay the 200 250 resale because it, it wasn't exactly what I wanted in my mind I thought I could just get a pair for cheap which I did and uh, do my own thing and not only it be what I want but it's something that I made as well so it's just a cheaper alternative for you guys and I mean you can also do different colors if you want uh, it doesn't have to be just black and the cream that I did you can use black white uh, you can just try whatever you want the good thing about doing customs is it's custom to you it's not custom to anybody else unless you're making it for them but if you make it for yourself it's what you really want and for me that is exactly what this is it's just a little bit of a better look at it uh, as you can see, like I told y'all, there's no swoosh on there. It's just completely blacked out. Um, there was some parts that you could see orange and purple popping through, but I did go over it again with a third coat just to make sure that it was all blacked out. I really didn't want anything else showing. Uh, on the top right here, we do have the Nike tag still. I left that just plain white. I didn't go with the cream on it. It was, just, it was gonna be too hard because of the way it's already made. As you can see here, it goes from black, black to cream. And a really good thing about racers is even when you wear them, they only like move here. There's not a whole bunch of movement in them. So the paint's not gonna crack. Uh, a lot of other shoes, like maybe a free run or something like that, if you were to try to paint the bottom of them, it's gonna crack because so much flex goes on with it. But with racers, you're just really getting that forefoot right there and there's already crease marks in there which allow you to crease it. It's not gonna make the paint bunch up and crack or whatnot. 
Uh, they did a really good job with the Lunar Epic. They did something where it was just all lines through the bottom to where there's going to be zero cracking. Overall, it was a really easy job to do. It took about two days total. Uh, the thing that set me back the most is getting the vanilla paint. That took about a week because there was some flooding going on here in Texas and it just got delayed so that was the biggest mishap but besides that like the coating to cook like one day you have to let it dry then you go at it another day it's really just uh, letting it dry having to paint and all that stuff it's not very time consuming or much like that uh, it was really just the drying process but like I said before I will link all the products that you need down below uh, and like I said, you can use any color uh, fly knit that you want. It's going to go over with the black. Of course, if you get one that's white, it's going to go better. It's not going to take as many coats to get it to like a pure black like this. And also, if you're looking to do something like this, you may want to look for one with a white and black tab or a black tab because it's going to look a little weird if you get one with like a pinkish purple tab right there, unless you want that. But for me, I just wanted it all black, so I opted to get a pair like that. Uh, luckily my friend had one and just hooked me up and in case anybody was wondering I did leave the swoosh on the bottom orange just for a little bit of a pop Also, my girlfriend did come through and got me a Nike box, which I took the label off already um, So I'm gonna have to make a custom label put it on there and just put like blackout racer or something like that but Yo, that is it. Thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe Make sure to like this video if you want to see more custom videos This is my second one or third one if you're counting that Roshi Yeezy thing that was a while back I like to consider this my second one But if you want to see something more like this uh, throw some ideas down below I'll be happy to do some more stuff like this because I really do like it. But thank you guys again, and here's your on foot.